I'm an avid collector of tennis memorabilia. And the Orange Lawn Tennis Club may be the biggest piece in Bruce Schoenbraun's growing collection. He manages the group that just bought the second oldest tennis club in America and one of only a handful still with grass courts. For us, it, it was looking at this, uh, this historic club and it's, it's a wow. A wow when you walk through the clubhouse and gaze at the trophy case and the long list of names who played here and won here at the Mutual Benefit Life Open, the forerunner to the U.S. Open. Bobby Riggs, Arthur Ashe, Rod Laver, and in other tournaments, Chris Everett and many others. But when pro tennis went to clay courts, major tournaments went elsewhere, and Orange Lawn met its decline. Folks still played here, though, still said their I do's here, but the club never rivaled its heyday. Sean Braun says his group is investing millions of dollars to renovate the locker room, reconfigure the pool area, rebuild the paddle courts, and add a restaurant, and overall, restore Orange Lawn to its glory, and then some. He says it's working. Membership is increasing. This is way beyond the tennis club. This really is a social club. Orange Lawn has 10 clay courts and 10 grass courts. The grass courts are legendary, but general manager Eric Fromm says they represent an undeniable reality about the sport and about this club. You've got Wimbledon, you've got the warm-up tournaments to Wimbledon, the, uh, the grass court championships at the International Tennis Hall of Fame. So there are some tournaments, and, and a lot of people love playing on the court, I don't think it's the future of the game in terms of competitive tennis. But Orange Lawn still thinks its grass courts are a draw. We intend to bring back uh, some kind of major uh, grass court event, uh, not like the major tournaments that had been held in the past, which were large professional tournaments, but uh, it might be a legends tournament. Back in the day when folks came to watch the tennis greats play on this grass court, this was the press box. The public sat over here, and to my right, this was the VIP section. Orange Lawn says all of this area will be restored. The buzz is out there in the community, in the community that it's, that it's going to go through a resurgence and people are excited about it. This whole thing is very exciting. The excitement here will go to another level as Orange Lawn prepares to serve a restored club to the public on Memorial Day weekend. In South Orange, Michael Hill, NJTV News.